Alright guys, so we are on a rebuild that is powered by a diesel engine. Let's welcome to another amazing episode of Talking Boats with Alex. We're right here on, what are we on today? This is a 730 Brig with a Ox diesel outboard. Wow, and did we go like a 500 miles an hour? Almost, almost. Why are you wet? Like what happened? That's, that's a whole nother story coming up in this video. So this is something that was just installed and is uh, Ox has an agreement with them. It's called the Coast Key. Well, I'll show you how it works when we get there more. I can remotely start and stop the engine. We got my glasses. So this is the one. So that's searching for the battery. So the difference between the ox and most is the, um, the kill switch mm -hmm. actually kills power to everything. Oh, you gotta have the landing. Yeah. You gotta have the landing. Okay. You don't need the key, but I have to have the landing. Okay. Trim the motor from here. Wow. The motor's in the water. Nobody's still over there. <laughs> Nobody's on the boat. Now I can crank it up. Whoa. Remote control diesel engine. <laughs> That's crazy. This one is the 150, but it's the same shell for the 200. Pretty cool. Super cool. So uh, now we're gonna get on it. Now we're gonna go for a ride. You ready? Do it. Come on. Let's get on the rib boat with the diesel engine. Let's do it. We're going to give them what they want, and what they don't know what they want is to be entertained. And that's what we're. All right. So. It's been so windy. Do you want to take the cover off here? And now Todd's going to go ahead and take off the cowling. So we can go ahead and see a couple things and see and hear exactly what we hear with the cowling off. Because I want you guys to check that out as well. All right. All right. All right. You got that there? Okay, yep. Same engine you saw in the booth. Same setup. This one's just operational. Put the cover off. Outside. 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 This, this specific one's a 150. Same size comes in the two wheelers. There she is. The engine cover is on and the sound is a lot less. But it's very, very, it's very quiet. I got one last surprise for you, bro. What's that? Um, it's a surprise, man. I, I, I said it's one last surprise. All right. It's gonna be crazy. Just prepare for the work. Ox <laughs> diesel outboard from the board. There you go. You want to say a word to find more information about it? Uh, Laboardproducts.com or follow us on Facebook at Laboard Products Incorporated. Links down below. You ready? One of the coolest things about rib boats is that you can sit anywhere. Like anywhere. Right, Alfred? Good. And if, if, if you're crazy enough, you can probably sleep on one too, but you know, I don't recommend it because you're gonna get waking up when you fall in. I think we need to do something with this boat. What do you think we should do? 
That one? You're gonna have to Which one? This one? The bow on. Yeah, we need to flip it. Are you seeing to it? Dude, I don't know man. <laughs> I think I think let me tell you, you're an overachiever. Let me tell you. <laughs> you're crazy than me, I think. Alright guys. Alright, so first time I'm on a diesel engine reboot. This is crazy. How fast are we are we gonna put it? Like Probably about 38, maybe. 38 um, miles an hour. We, we it's crazy four windy. Four people. four people. We gotta take it easy. It's just a demo. Life jacket, people. Gaining some speed right now. It's rough. This is the Ox 150. Distributor for the Gulf Coast is Labord Products. This is a four cylinder inline GM two liter. It's a belt drive system, not a shaft driven system. Like most outboards, it's got a true hydraulic, hydraulic plate clutches. Um, so there's a, and it's a horizontally mounted four cylinder that is belt driven between it and the gears. The ratios on it are 1.73 in high torque and 2.12 in high speed the it's a they want the rpms around 4100 on this rig boat this is like how big 24 uh it's a 7.3 so 23 24. how fast can you get on that one? the 150 you can get That's about uh you can get we can do about 35 36 37 it kind of matters on water weight how much how many people we have in it um the four of us we were running around 34 between 40 and 49,000 matters on what horsepower or what length uh, when you talk about like diesel versus gas what's, what's the advantage of diesel over gas it's a lot less flammable you get better efficiencies uh, coming over here we were running about 30 at between six and seven gallons an hour much more fuel efficient wide open I think we we hit about 36 37 and we were eight nine gallons an hour so it's like cleaner option for the environment stuff like that it is it is it's much more fuel efficient um, comparative to a, a gas engine what about in terms of maintenance does it require more maintenance than a gas engine no or? no the same maintenance as most diesels usually do you got to change the oil you got to change the fuel filters you got to change belt the all the belts driven systems are just standard atf doesn't take a special oil or anything. They recommend a synthetic, fully synthetic ATF. It fits in the, the top belt drive system, a clutch pack, and then the lower unit. Questions? Grace Dale would be the person to contact at Labord Products, and she can help you set everything up. And one last question, guys. Yes. Think, um, where are they available? So they are currently available. We have stock. Um, the dealer network is soon to come. We're already talking different groups about dealers in Florida and along the Gulf Coast. Currently, 
for Gulf Coast, you'd, you'd have to reach out to Labor Products for that, and they can help you. Perfect. Thanks. Well, so the engine with the, the clutch package actually has a slip clutch. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm in neutral. Right now I'm in about 80% slip. And as I increase slowly, I come out of slip and go, and the clutch plates actually engage. So you can adjust, you can tie the uh, motor to whatever you need to and go really slow or slowly increase it. All right, we're gonna run out this way just a minute and then loop back around and go back in, okay? Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Wanna see the power? With oh, just yeah. two of us? Crank it up. Ready? Because of what you have done, sir, you get your reward. All right? You got it? We got we're, it. We got it. We're going to go again. We're going to go again. Look at this. Dude, that, that was crazy, man. It just shot up. How was the water? It was cold. It was cold. Chilly. Welcome to South Florida. Instead of wearing a kill switch, you can wear this little fob, and as soon as you hit the water, once it, once you go underwater with this, the good. RF frequency loses connection and shuts the engine off. Wow! Is that like an extra? Uh, yeah, this is an extra extra piece. Does it like let's say you buy the motor without it? Can you add it later? It, it was added this morning on the boat. Oh, so, so this is a this was an aftermarket thing that that they came out with, but it's they've also. Um, partnered with Ox to develop this and it works works great. Uh, tested it this morning with the Koski guys. They installed it this morning. Took about probably 30, 45 minutes to install and it was a quick, quick easy install, install test and we were ready to go. So this will this little thing will take the place of a kill switch. A lot easier. I mean it's probably safer because kill switch you don't want, want to have them. That is with you all the time. It is. And you can start and stop, but also if you were to forget this, there is a panel on the boat to allow you to put a code in and you can start it from the panel on the boat with a code and, and everything else. So you don't actually need your keys. Oh, okay. That's great. Yeah, because I was thinking, because a lot of times you forget that one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is that? Is this? You still could put the code in, and then you would just use a standard kill switch. Yeah. Yeah. So the the standard kill switch and key are redundant to this. So right. you can still use them, but you can also use this as the as the primary. It's, right. it's one or. How much is that? How much is? Six fifty for the part. Do you know if that will work on any any boat or just a specific to that? No, I believe it works on. They can fit it for just about any outboard. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Alfred right there. Watch the other video of this video, but Grace did a better job than All right, so let's do this and try again. Third take. <laughs> take. Take number 25. All right, so make sure to click on this video here by Alfred. This is the other version of the craziness that happened here. What happened to this guy? Look at that, he's wet. I don't know what the heck happened. So if you want to see the whole thing, click here. And uh, yeah, we're with Todd and from the board products. The board products. There you go.